All right, hello again. So I had planned this time on stage to introduce recorded remarks from one of our keynote speakers, Admiral Sam Paparo. Unfortunately, I understand that we're having some technical difficulties with that video. So you get me instead. All right, I had the opportunity to hear Admiral Paparo's um, comments earlier. So I think I can do a pretty good job of summarizing. I'll share with you some of the challenges he outlined, as well as the opportunities. There really is incredible value in hearing from those who encounter difficult, very real national security decisions every day. Yeah, so you can tell that's, I am not Admiral Paparo, but uh, imagine him speaking. Um, so he is the commander of the US Pacific Fleet. Among other responsibilities, he oversees the deployment and operations of all naval forces for the commander of the US Indo-Pacific Command. So um, those of you from the East Coast might forget this, but I think uh, the rest of the audience is very aware that the United States is a Pacific nation. And what happens in the Indo-Pacific region is vital to the safety of the United States people and our allies. The challenges that uh, Admiral Paparo outlined are probably not a surprise to you. He said that we're challenged in the Pacific when it comes to seeing, being able to see sufficiently clearly, um, being able to understand what we see, to make decisions and to take action across a vast and very multidimensional space. So from his role at the pointy end of the spear, that space includes not just air, land, and ocean. It also includes outer space, and it includes cyber, and it includes sort of the virtual and social world as well. He sees opportunities in things like commercial proliferation of low Earth orbit satellites, and which you heard uh, uh, Mike Leahy talk about when he talked about the Blackjack program yesterday. Um, and he's looking for new ways um, through technology to be able to help provide a comprehensive picture um, of the operational battles, battle space. Uh, I, the kinds of things he talked about, you really, um, at some level, he was channeling at a high level a lot of the different comments that you heard from our warfighters who were just talking here today and from different conversations we've been having throughout the day and a half. I am really sorry you can't hear from him directly. Um, I'm really thankful, on the other hand, that he took the time to make his remarks because as you can imagine, he has a very heavy set of responsibilities. So Arctic to Antarctic, west coast of the US, all the way to sort of the Indonesian side of the Pacific Ocean. Um, he has to worry about what might be happening around Taiwan. He has to worry about what North Korea might be up to. He's worried about insurgents in the Philippine Islands. It is a huge and vast set of, res of responsibilities. Um, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, if we have an opportunity to be able to restore that video, um, we certainly will make it available at, at future DARPA uh, forward events. Um, but obviously, our thanks to, uh, to um, Admiral Paparo for sharing the time he had with us. And I'm sorry you couldn't hear from him directly.